Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Tarot, aka LLE Astrology. We are back as promised with Divine Masculine's Karmic Situation. Divine Feminist Karmic Situation will be following this immediately. So, no delay. Just gotta mix the hell out these cards. I'm using the same deck all week. This is a first. But um, it's the only ones I brought with me to work. So, uh, let's get with the business, man. I'm anxious to see what these energies are. Especially me being back home and, you know, the same vicinity as my motherfucking twin flame and shit. Like, you know, and I want to say this while I deal these cards. <clears throat> I say it time and time again, I said it last year, I'm going to say it this year. Divine Feminine, you need to be focused on your mother fucking self, son. Like, you need to focus on yourself. You need to focus on your own journey, your own purpose. I mean, your Divine Masculine is included in this demo, but it's a two-player game. Meaning, you can play this shit by yourself. <laughs> I mean, it ain't fun by yourself, but I mean... It come with the motherfucking um, territory, you know. Divine Feminine, you got to be willing to work. Like I say, if you don't work it, this shit ain't going to work out. <laughs> so that shit, those echoes. If you don't work it, this shit ain't going to work out. If you ain't doing your work, don't expect your masculine to do any. If you ain't figured out how this work, don't expect your masculine to coach you through this shit. You're supposed to be coaching your masculine through this shit. You're the example, okay? It's monkey see, monkey do. He's supposed to follow suit. Can't be following your masculine or doing what the fuck your masculine doing. Nah, it's supposed to be the other way around. You're in the lead. I told you, two of wands, the divine masculine mode, role, it's like just illuminating this space for you to see. For the divine feminine, really, it's like divine masculine taking two tiki torches, lighting up this area so the Divine Feminine can work. What does the Divine Feminine do when she's working? She's figuring out a way to get us to a whole another lane. It's cool being in one spot illuminated. Nah, nigga, we supposed to be moving around, you feel me? So like I say, with three wands, I could put a wand here, I could put a wand <coughs> halfway down the road, like half a mile down the road, and put another wand halfway down that, and tie a string to that shit, and if it was pitch black, we got light to illuminate ourselves to get us the fuck just out of this area. You know what I'm saying? Like, if this is an expedition, Divine Feminine, you are the leader. You are the explorer. You know what I'm saying? You're the astronaut. You go to the place first. You're like the first person in space, first person on the moon. You test this shit out. And I know y'all be like, oh, I'm a female. You supposed to initiate it. He's supposed to do this and he's supposed to do that. He ain't supposed to do shit. He could be a she, she could be a he, you know I'll be right. I'm telling you, your divine masculine doesn't have to play this game with you. That's why you gotta re be ready to play this shit by yourself. You gotta be in it to win it. Not win it. I mean, not in it to share this experience or share this moment. I mean, you're gonna share experiences and moments with your twin anyway. What you need to do is, like I say, just focus on your shit, point blank, period. Know your role. Know what you're getting into. This is a twin flame demonstration. That's why I'm here to give you insight on how to move. This shit is a chess game. You need to know how to play. Same checkers. Come into the situation. We have the Five of Swords. <clears throat> it's the Divine Mask and Karmic situation, right? We got the Five of Swords, which is a delay. Nate Dog, hold up, wait card. Or this is focusing. I'm going to just take it as a delay. Okay? By masculine, you're delaying yourself. Why? Because you're too busy trying to two a cup somebody. Two of cups is the lover's card. Or getting to know somebody. Or hovering around somebody. Or like basically orbiting someone else. When you two a couple person, you basically learning who this person is. You're learning what they like. You're learning what their dreams and their passions is about. What their favorite foods is. You're also learning, I don't know, their mentality. What's in their heart? You know what I mean? 
what's, what, what, what their lifestyle is, who they really are. In order for you to two a cup anybody, love anybody, respect anybody, admire anybody, understand anybody, you need to do all that shit yourself. Understand yourself, respect yourself, love yourself, admire yourself, know who you are, so you can recognize a motherfucker just like you. <coughs> You're feminine. Masculine. If you ain't trying to a cup your twin, you delaying yourself. You two a cup and somebody else getting to know somebody totally entirely. Like I say, you and your feminine guy. I don't even know how to boogie up in that motherfucker. Just got done eating up two beefy Fritos burritos and shit. At any rate, <sighs> you got a two a cup your twin. Divine Masculine, you hear, if you're watching Divine Masculine and you're aware and you can understand this shit and you actually watching these videos, kudos. Now, I know I cuss a lot. I know I turn people off with the language and the analogies that I use and shit, but are you getting the message? Okay, message is Divine Masculine, you got work to do with your twin. Message is Masculine, you need to get to know your twin more. Because the more you know your twin, the more you know yourself. The reason why your divine feminine is on Trinity mode, she on her psychic shit, she's evolved and, 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 and really surpassed you in so many ways, it's because of you. Told you, my divine masculine set me free. Before I met this nigga, I was not on none of this divine shit. I was in a world like a motherfucker out for personal gain. I mean, not personal gain, I ain't no selfish ass nigga. I really had a team and a squad and dreams and aspirations and shit, but sometimes you gotta grow the fuck up, get on some whole other shit, some divine shit, some mastermind shit, some holy shit, and look where we at. My ma If I didn't meet my masculine, I wouldn't be here. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have this insight, I wouldn't have caught the passion to even get on these cards, or to even build my own language, and, and, and create this book and this deck for y'all to do what I'm doing. All this deck is going to be when it comes out, and I, I promise you, I ain't putting it out until I get 5k. If it take another year, <laughs> if it take another year, then it's going to take another year for y'all to get this. Like I said, <laughs> I'm trying to get the most out of this deck, the most out of this book. All right. I need 5K. That's just the start. I'm trying to get the 20K, 30K, 40, 50K like the rest of these karmic ass psychics. You feel me? Like I want in. <laughs> I need in because I need more people to be aware of what's, with the messages that I'm bringing. I need more people to be aware of this lingo here. This is just a fishing pole I created to teach other people how to fish just like me. It's pancake mix, but your spirit is to add water. Saying all that shit to say this. Masculine, you got a job to do. It's imperative for you to tool cup your twin. But what are you doing right now? Nine of Cups. Grooming yourself to tool cup your twin. Okay, I feel that. That's that's what's up, and it makes a lot of sense. I told you, it's a whole process. You know what I'm saying? Your masculine has to go through just to deal with you, and it's a whole process that the feminine has to go through just to deal with you too, masculine. But you got some learning to do. You need to be groomed by your twin. She needs to put you on some game, drop a few jewels for you. You know what I mean? Get you caught up. To speed of what the fuck's going on as far as this divine demo that you and your reflection have. Bottom line, ten of swords, permanent fucking endings. Now, divine masculine, I told you, overall energy, you delay yourself to a cupping lover's card, a whole another person other than your twin. If you're doing that, and if you're not to a cup of somebody else, then you're to a cup and the fuck out yourself a little bit too much. All right, you need some grooming. Get that shit. Your feminine is here to groom you. But before you can even begin anything with your twin, you're going to have to end something in order to begin this shit. And if you don't end it personally, ten of swords, mental swords, mental king of king of swords is clarifying this. Uh, ten of swords. Ten of swords is a death. It's a permanent ending. Something that ain't coming back. Something that's going bye bye. And you need to piece that shit out so you can get to where you need to get to. 
if you don't put a permanent end to this two a couple situation you're doing outside of your twin flame demo, there's consequences and repercussions to that. God gonna smack the shit out you. God smacks the God smack car been in your energy all week, masculine. You gonna learn eventually. It shouldn't take you getting sick, your divine feminine getting sick, you dying, your divine feminine dying, or some catastrophic shit for you to get on your divine feminine's team. You ain't gotta get on your team. You two are playing for the same fucking team. It's all mental shit you gotta do. This whole breakup or permanent ending that you finna do is mental. This whole God smack that you finna get is some mental shit. It's K for karma. You got to end things to begin things. If I'm masculine, you know what you win and you know what you need to begin. Get on your shit. Now, coming into this thing, thing. In your karmic role, divine masculine, we have the Ace of Wands. This is some awareness. Or this is the first step. Uh, wands are actions and behaviors and shit. This is the first step towards the direction you need to go. Swords are directions. Wands are actions. <clears throat> this is the first step. Told you, once you end, put a ten of swords permanently in the situation, you can begin this situation with your twin. And once you begin this situation with your twin, what the fuck you're going to need is some awareness. It's some shit you need to know. Right? Clarifying, this awareness is the king of cups. You need a little awareness about what the king of cups really is. You can downplay this twin flame situation all you want. You can downplay your feminine all you want. Okay? But the only person you're going to end up answering to is the most high. Put an example with my twin. You know, he downplays what I do because he wants to give me the impression that what I'm doing is unimportant or that people ain't really catching on or that I don't know what I'm talking about. But in reality, people are catching on. I do know what the fuck I'm talking about. And I'm all about this life. I've done enough for him to physically see the wonders of being on this path that I'm on. Three of winding. I've been doing this shit for a year and a half. As far as YouTube, helping people, establishing LLE as a nice, you know, institution for spiritual advancement. And like I say, I built this shit not only for me to use and utilize and help people, for my twin to use utilize and help people with I gotta help him to gain to what his position really is over here at LLE with me and you need to get some awareness that this tough love shit just can't fly no more I told you you being too tough if you being too tough you overcompensating for shit the loudest nigga in the room is the weakest motherfucker in the room first off Secondly, it's like being homophobic as fuck. Ugh, that nigga gay as hell. That nigga gay as hell. Ugh, there's some fruity motherfuckers around here. Okay, why you care? What this nigga look like? What this nigga on? You know what I'm saying? Seems like you like whoever this gay nigga is swag. Obviously. And if you got so much, you know, homophobia towards some shit that were past. Like, tripping over who another person's sleeping with. Whether it's the same sex or not, tripping over what a motherfucker wears, whether you know them or not, your views on how a motherfucker live their life at this point is old news. So once again, if I see a motherfucker that's on some super duper homophobic shit, nine times out of ten, that nigga suck dick like a bitch. You know what I'm saying? He must be gay. It's the energy you putting into shit. Just like if I see a super duper tough guy ass nigga. Block nigga, he got hella tattoos, teardrops in his motherfucking face, going around talking about how he the, he the most thug, nasty, nasty thug there is. Nah, nigga, you's a bitch, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a test show gangster, because I'm a real motherfucking gangster, and you you smell food to me. You know what I'm saying? You hopping some real nigga shit, some real nigga shit's gonna happen. It's a lot of fucking... It's a lot of people who take this King of Cups energy... To the fifth degree. Getting back into an example with my motherfucking twin. I told you. My twin is like overly aggressive. When it comes to like this tough guy shit. You know. Number one it's old. It's fuck. You been doing this shit since I met you boy. <laughs> it's time. 
So I'm past this tough shit with you. I'm analyzing why you're on this tough shit so much. It's overcompensation at the end of the day. The shit that my twin does, you know what I mean, to overcompensate his feelings, his beliefs, whatever his thing is. Can't have no beef with what the fuck I do. All I do is preach God, light, and love to people. I help people. So if you want some tough guy shit with me over some divine shit, it comes from a lack of awareness. Because if you knew what the fuck I was into, you wouldn't trip over what the fuck I'm into. It's all understanding. Okay? Tough guy shit, that shit dead. You know what I mean? It's like toxic masculinity. Yes, it is a toxic masculinity problem. But what the toxic masculinity problem is comes just from a lack of, uh, of awareness. My twin, his definition of a man is totally different from my definition of a man. I'm a feminine energy. So I look at man different than he does. My twin looks at man being the male aggressor, female impressor. Which is cool, Beans. Because I'm a male aggressor, female... <laughs> I'm a... Uh, what I just say, male aggressor, female impressor. That's like my twin. When he talks to chicks, he got like this bop going on. Like he get the swaying like this when he talking to hoes. Like he rapping or some shit like that. Me, I'm more so trying to get to know her mind, get to know her heart, her dreams, her aspirations, what the fuck she about, where she come from, what she on. That's what I care about. What's inside. These uber masculine niggas. It's like Biggie. In the One More Chance song. It's like. What's he attracted with that line? What's your name? What's your sign? You know what I'm saying? As soon as he buy that wine. I just come up from behind. I ask you what your interests are. Who you be with. Shit to make you smile. What numbers to dial. You gonna be here for a while. I'm gonna call my crew. You gonna call your crew. We can wind the fool at around two. Like. That's all physical shit. Biggie talking about. You know what I'm saying? B ain't really talking about nothing of substance. He's just talking about what the fuck we on right now. That's cool, but that shit don't fly no more. It's a new time. It's a new man now. You know what I mean? That, like, what a real man is, is what the fuck I've adopted. Men with feminine energy. Men who are aware of the feminine energy. Men who respect the feminine energy. Ain't nothing sweet about me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> real nigga over here. And I've adopted this feminine energy. It comes from, like I say, my twin sister being a divine masculine. She ain't butch or nothing like that. She a diva. She like a supermodel. But she a man eater. Like my motherfucking mama. You know what I'm saying? She's a divine masculine. She's a diva too. Very feminine as far as looks and appearance and shit. Like myself. Very masculine as far as looks and appearance and shit. But it's what's inside. And you got to ID who you are, divine masculine. You don't have to really grow the fuck up. Okay, and evolve as a motherfucking man. What a real man is nowadays is a nigga that's keeping it real, number one. You gotta keep it fucking real. Okay? If you lying about who you are or you ain't you ain't living your true shit, that's a fucking problem. It's not keeping it real. You ain't a motherfucking man if you ain't even a real person, like a real boy. You Pinocchio out this bitch, you know what I'm saying? So keeping it real is the realest shit you can do. Secondly, you got to respect the woman. Okay? We got to we got to respect women, man. Like man was put here to 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 support, protect the woman. Like the fuck. <laughs> you know? I might say bitches and hoes and cuss and do my little swag delicious shit, but I'm all about the motherfucking feminine. More so the woman. Divine male, like divine feminine men like myself, I got love for y'all. But the females, that's who I'm here to protect. That's who I'm here to lead. That's who I'm here to secure. Make sure ain't shit happening to the woman out here. Especially the black woman. Because if black woman got killed, then my race wouldn't exist anymore. And that go for y'all and y'all races and what y'all about. Y'all should adopt the same ideology. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying all I should say this. The tough guy shit is dead. Okay? That's why I see your karmic energy. Get rid of that shit. Get you some fucking awareness. Get with the motherfucking times and know what a real man is. Okay? A man, like, what a man wears 
what music that nigga listening to, his sexual orientation, all that shit don't make a motherfucking man. Like, a man is a nigga that keeps it real and is all about the feminine. When you're talking about these gay niggas that chuck their teeth up every time they see a fine-ass chick in a radius and shit, the niggas that see just a fine-ass bitch, just <laughs> like, ugh, look at this bitch. Like, nah, nigga, you respect the female. So any nigga that hate women, that nigga's a cancer to society. We don't need that nigga around. Not saying we should eliminate this nigga or murk this nigga, but we don't need niggas like that. Okay? Any male, I don't give a fuck if you gay or not. You know what I'm saying? Any male that despise the female, nigga, you an agent in the matrix. That's a problem. Them type of niggas do weird ass shit with females. You know what I'm saying? Like these little serial killers and all this crazy shit you be seeing on like cold case files and shit like that, it come from niggas like that. As a man, it's your job to get aware, be real to yourself, and protect the woman. You ain't on that masculine, then nigga, you an agent in the matrix. Nigga, you an instrument of destruction out here. You ain't on your job. Personally, masculine come up to this damn situation, and he could be a she, she could be a he. You know how we rocking. But if you a divine masculine, you a feminine, as far as that whole, you're getting protected, you're getting secured by the man out here. You fall on that boat too. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck if you uber masculine. You know what I'm saying? You could be a, 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 a super butch. You know what I'm saying? You still in that boat? I'm gonna fuck what you. I'm gonna fuck what you said. You female. It's a different situation. Feminine energy is different from a female. Come to find feminine. I ain't a woman though. So it's a big fucking difference. It's a big contrast. Okay. Off that. Back on this. Come into the situation where I'm asking you stress the fuck out. What are you stressing over? Three of Wands. Your purpose. Your purpose. It's go time. I told you. It's time to move forward. Two of Wands is to stand in this place. It's time to go a couple miles that way. By following the string. Uh, the string tied torches. Three string tied torches that she led for you. It's meant for us to get to another spot. My feminine leads. And since she's leading masculine it's your job to protect your feminine she's leading an expedition the least you can do is watch her back huh. she's leading the way the least you can do is have her fucking back what are you stressing over your purpose for it you got to know your purpose if you knew what the fuck your actual role was like my my, my Ryan masculine back in the early days it's like yo what do i gotta do learn how to do cars and and what i got you know I ain't trying to do all that. I'm like, nigga, you don't need to do all that. But what, what you need me to do? Hold me down, nigga. Hold me down. Don't need a sky shit, nigga. Like, just hold me down. Just support me in what I do. I remember when I first started LLE Ascension, and he was going, and I was getting him to kind of get on his channel with me. I kind of ran my mouth. I got a big mouth. Every time I run my mouth, it count against me, against my masculine, because he always, he always in my mouth. You know what I'm saying? So. He was like, yeah, I'm going to get on the channel with you. Just don't tell nobody. I couldn't hold it. I told y'all. And as soon as he seen that video that I told y'all, he didn't want to do it anymore. But when I had him almost, you know, here with me, I'm like, look, nigga, you can't be going around saying what I'm saying don't make sense or, or what I'm doing ain't right because it's only going to backfire on me. Okay? You got to hold me down, nigga. You got to be 10 toes down on your boy. You got to trust and know I know what I'm doing. You got to trust and know that I am who I am. You going around telling people I ain't who I am, that's going to hurt my cause and your cause too. All your role is, is to hold me the fuck down, my nigga. Do that shit. It's simple. You got the two of wands for a role, for a reason. Please identify. Yes, you got purpose that you stressing over. But in reality, your role is only two of wands. All you got to do is hold your divine feminine down, stay black and die, my nigga. <laughs> she gonna do the rest And little shit that she needs you to do You act like you can't do it All you gotta do is support her Not literally hold her up like Atlas my nigga Just support her Support her like you were supporting her when y'all was in recognition And shit That type of energy Cause as far as the feminine role in your karma Masculine We have The sauce Six of cups, sauce card Who do I facilitate the sauce with? Your divine feminine you know why you saucy masculine? Because you're divine feminine. Don't you see she she could be a he, he could be a she. You know how we rock it. 
Don't you see how your divine feminine changed your life? You look different, boy. Your life better. Your whole quality of living is better because your divine feminine holds you down. When you need a fucking favor, who you who you know you can depend on? When you need somebody to hold you down, who's always there? So what the fuck is the problem? <laughs> and I mean, can't take help from your divine feminine and then play her off. It's karma to that. That's why you get your ass smacked by God. Everything your feminine do for you is unconditional. Unless your feminine fucking up out here. Everything your feminine do for you is 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 unconditional. And it'll pay for you to get on that same motherfucking frequency. Sauce. Only reason you saucy is because your feminine made you saucy. And then you pivot with the sauce. It's sauce. You eat it. You love it. You addicted to the divine feminine sauce. You fuck with the sauce. But then it's like you get full and you piece her out. Like you don't need sauce anymore. Like, like her sauce is just regular sauce. Acting like it ain't your favorite sauce. You steal her sauce and put it on other fucking karmics. You steal her sauce and use it to your advantage. Her sauce could be her. Her sauce could be her essence, her style, her personality, her language that you using out here, her money that you using out here. He could be a she, she could be a he, you know how you rock it. It's her shit. Something she has, you have. And then you take it and pivot with it. You don't never go all the way with the fucking sauce. You just take what you need, which is a little bit of sauce, and then you come back to get some more. Or... You steal a whole shitload of sauce, piece your motherfucking feminine away, and then when you dry up and run out of sauce, you want to come back. Either way, it's back and forth. It's pivoting. It's pussyfooting the fuck around. You only need to go in one direction, and that's where your twin headed. She's headed in the right direction, Ace of Swords. You need to be heading that way, too. You pussyfooting around, two-stepping out here. It's only creating... More and more and more verification. Verif oh my god. It's only creating more verification to what this overall energy is. And that's a fucking delay. You're only fucking yourself up. Not evolving. You're only fucking yourself up playing. Stop fucking playing. <laughs> you personally, if, as far as the divine feminine is concerned, you got the queen of sports. You need to be ten toes to fuck down on a mental decision. Or mental direction to a source that's pussyfooting around going back and forth. You need to be ten toes the fuck down and staying in the right direction. And get to that three of swords. What's that three of swords? That's going past the point of no return. It's the it's the it's the pain card, but you're going past the point of no motherfucking return. That's this ten of swords that you gotta do in this bottom line. You gotta end something to begin something, and you can't come back. Two of swords, pussyfooting, you can't come back to what the fuck you just left. Four of Cups is clarifying this Lucy Lou card. Queen of Swords is a Lucy Lou card. You gotta be ten toes the fuck down going to the Lucy Lou rant. Lucy Lou from fucking Kill Bill. Chinese American woman who's the head of the Japanese syndicate. How, Sway? Cause she ten toes down. Ten toes the fuck down on how she moving with these with the Japanese syndicate. It's like that scene where she chopped the motherfucking dude head off. He was mad as hell. How the fuck? We let a Chinese American woman, woman, run this motherfucking syndicate. Our ancestors are turning in their fucking grave. Total disrespect. She got up with the quickness, chopped that nigga head off, and asked everybody in the motherfucking room, do we have a problem? <laughs> do we have a problem? Huh? Nah, niggas ain't got no motherfucking problem. You see how loose, you see how serious Lucy Lou is in Kill Bill? That's how serious you need to be about your own shit, masculine. You be ten toes to fuck down about some shit. In the world. Why do you need to be ten toes to fuck down on your mental decisions in the world? Nine of Pentacles. Because you need to be right where the fuck you need to be to number one, form with your twin. You and your twin need the ten of Pentacles. That's forming like Voltron. That's two people coming together like butt cheeks in this bitch. You need to be coming together with your feminine off top. Number two. This is being right where you need to be to bless somebody. Somebody like your twin. By finally supporting your twin, getting with the motherfucking demo, or this is in position for you to be blessed. But in order for you to get blessed, you gotta come together with your motherfucking twin. 
Nine of Pentacles, you almost there. It goes with the whole two of swords, pussyfooting around. Like I say, every time your masculine gets here with you, or y'all get on one accord, or shit seem like it's finna fucking jail, your masculine steps back. He pivots. You know what I'm saying? And you can't keep doing that shit. That shit's old. It's just as old as this motherfucking King of Cups energy you got karmically coming into this situation, masculine. Dead that shit. Fucking man, where are those noises? It's just me up in this motherfucking cornfield over here, but I don't think it's like coyotes and shit around here. Keep here, fucking. It's a full moon in this bitch, too? Well, if anything happen, nigga, it's gonna be on cam. <laughs> and then get back to the message. So, your masculine energy, masculine, you in regards to your, like, your own energy here, karmically, in regards to yourself, you got the fool card. Yes, you are a fool. Why are you a fool? Because you're fucking unaware. You lack awareness right now. It goes with the Ace of Wands that you had karmically coming into the situation. Which the King of Cups was clarifying. Awareness. Having awareness. Uh, having awareness means you're not a fool anymore. The only reason you're a fool right now is because you lack of awareness. You have some lack of awareness when it comes to yourself right now. Karmically. Clarifying this lack of awareness, this full card, we got the three of pentacles. This is you and another person coming together as one. Or you and another person doing some shit. Or you and another person building a motherfucking bridge. Or you and another person building, period. Who's this other person you need to build with? Who the fuck you think? Your divine feminine, son. Now, you might say, oh, she ain't on her shit. I don't want to deal with her. This is a bunch of crap. Like, you can... Like I say, you can play this shit off all day. Time ain't never gonna stop ticking. How much time you gonna waste, bruh? Shorty? How much more time you gonna waste? You didn't did everything but get down with the damn demo. Once you get down with the demo and see what shit, see what happens. If you fuck with your twin long enough, I bet you gonna set your twin on fire. You gonna have her ass out here on some Alicia Keys shit and you gonna be on some Swiss B shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You only make your twin better. Do you know one phone call from you to your divine feminine blows her up like a, a nuclear bomb? That's how it be with me. Me and my twin ain't even knocking boots. When that nigga call me, I'm all smiles, nigga. I'm smiling ear to ear like the Grinch, nigga. And I can get up and start my day. This nigga hit me up 6 in the morning like, nigga, you up? You know what I'm saying? Early bird is the worm, nigga. Go seize the day. I am fucking drunk as hell, high as hell from last night, but when that nigga get done talking to me, I get the fuck up and get to the business, nigga, I'm in the gym, you know what I'm saying, I'm in, I'm, I'm in the library studying, doing all kind of extra shit, I do extra shit with my twin, fuck with me, that's how LOE Ascension even started too, because I was like vibing with my twin so hard that it took me to another motherfucking level. Ain't nothing but good coming out you fucking with your twin. And you don't even have to have a relationship with your twin. Okay? You just gotta hold her the fuck down. It's just support. Whether that's moral support, physical support, financial support. Any type of support towards your twin only gonna make your twin do better shit. That's why it's imperative for you to get with the motherfucking program. And the shit that you're gonna be doing for her is shit she does for you all the time, player. Show back that, you know what I mean? Show that love back, Joe. Show that love back, baby. Because you personally, in regards to yourself, you got bossed the fuck up. Or this is a karmic feminine. Clarifying bossing up or this karmic feminine, we got the nine of wands. This is the wounded warrior. So once again, in the midst of you getting all this awareness here, you still got your karmic feminine to deal with. This is your karmic reading, right? She bossing you the fuck around. Does your feminine boss you around? No. Your feminine don't even come at you weird. She, your feminine don't even come at you crazy. Yo, matter of fact, I say it all the time. I said it to my master. I'm like, nigga, you groom me to talk to you in a manner you want to be talked to. 
I don't like it when you mad at me and you don't want to call me or I don't like it when I, I don't know, just be me and shit fly out my mouth because you know shit always flying out my grill and now shit different. So I got to I gotta watch what I say around you. I try not to piss you off. I try not to irk you. I try not to, I try not to do a lot of shit. It's like grooming. It's like when a kid get their first whooping from their mom and shit and now they walking on eggshells to see what they can or can't do. Your feminine Taylor May, like she she's Taylor like not Taylor makes. Um your feminine definitely goes with the flow with you. She does a lot like she dumps her down she dumps herself down a lot for you. It's a lot of shit she don't say. In fear that she might scare you off or in fear that you might get on some nine 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 shit and here he is in another motherfucking separation. She's already conformed to your shit. But here you are dealing with a person <laughs> that doesn't conform to your shit. So what the fuck is you really are like whole time? And you hurt? Are you hurt because this karmic feminine of yours doesn't conform in the matter that your divine feminine do? Your divine feminine is your divine feminine. You only get one of them. And that's your other half. So of course you're on the same frequency. Of course y'all on the same page. Of course y'all the same. And you'll never find that similarity with anybody else. Except another divine. If you get bossed around by a fucking karmic feminine. And you don't even allow. Your own feminine to boss you around. Motherfucker you got problems. If you put up with bullshit. From karmics. Karmic feminines. Instead of putting up with some real shit from your divine feminine, you a fucking fool. Today is the day. Get some fucking awareness. Playtime over with. <laughs> it's over. Now, going to your future karmically masculine, you need the ace of cups. You need to take care of yourself. You need to respect yourself. You need to admire your damn self. You need to know your damn self. Because how the fuck you two a cup in anything, overall energy, when you ain't even handled your own shit yet? Like, you don't even like dealing with yourself. So how could you deal with another person? Most you masculines don't even love your own self. How the fuck you gonna love your masculine? You don't respect yourself. How you gonna respect your feminine? And like I said, if you don't know yourself, how you gonna... No God for anything. If you don't know yourself, you don't know God. If you don't know God, you don't know yourself. But if you can't even figure out yourself or God, how the fuck are you going to recognize the God in your feminine? Six of Wands. These is wins, celebrations, and victories. You will win loving yourself more. You will win taking care of yourself better. You will win having some awareness of self and God and divinity. Like I say, you ain't got nothing to lose with your feminine. And there's nothing here. What's that uh, James Baldwin quote? Um, there's nothing left to explain. Only to, like, there's nothing left to explain. Only to accept or something like that. Like all you gotta do is accept the situation at this point. Acceptance. Acceptance. And before you can accept your feminine for who she really is, you gotta accept yourself for who you really are. And you personally go into the future, you got the Ten of Cups. This is happiness. Emotional contentment. What's making you happy? What's making you emotionally content right now? Or at least going to the future. Your harvest. Eight of Pentacles. What's a harvest? Shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, comfortable bed to sleep on. Luxuries, perks, family, car, job, purpose. Your divine feminine's in here. God's in here. The world is yours. And you can create the whole world you want. Your feminine knows this. If you didn't know, she'd be the perfect one to kind of, I don't know, drop you some jewels about that. It's too much shit you can learn from your feminine. 
Don't play her off like she don't know what she's talking about. And real shit. Every divine feminine got powers. Psychic powers, physical powers, could be healing, could be channeling. It's who we are. It's the most powerful motherfucking person you ever gonna come across. And guess what, masculine? You got powers too. We're the same. It'll help to kind of get hip to what those powers are. Divine feminines, y'all out here and unaware of what your power is? You should fuck with me. You should we should really get life coached by the kid. I'm gonna unlock that power for you. Or at least find where that power at so you can get to it. But you're gonna have to dig deep though. You're gonna have to get buckets naked mentally and spiritually with me. You're gonna have to put permanent ends to shit. You're gonna have to lay some shit down. It's all about focus. Focusing with it. Masculine, what do you want to tell your divine feminine in the fourth and fifth dimension? Four of Pentacles, you can't let go of something. Or you hold on too tight to some shit. What's that? Two of Pentacles. It's like divine masculine, you holding on to this two of pentacles situation you got going on. Two of pentacles, that's you and another person under the same roof. You stand with another person. Or another person dwelling with you. You know, six of pentacles plus two of pentacles, that's getting square. This ain't the six of pentacles. So you ain't getting square. Think you are, but you ain't. So what you try trying to tell your feminine is, you try to, I don't take this as holding on, I take it as it's holding off. You're holding off on the whole getting close to your twin right now. Because what you're trying to tell me is you're not ready. And why aren't you ready? Eight of Wands, you'll tell him. <laughs> you'll know. Like, real shit. It's like, I'm going to hold off on getting close to you right now. Right now. Okay? Maybe he has to break up with his f fucking divine. Maybe he need to love himself more. Maybe he need to get some self-awareness. Maybe he needs to do some homework. Maybe he needs to check out some of your videos real quick. Get a, get a refresher with the fuck you want and what you about nowadays. He's saying he's... Holding off. Okay. Not that long. He's just right now holding off the whole getting close shit right now. Okay. Because we got eight of wands here. Eight of wands is communications, communications, communications. This is texts. These are messages. This is the equivalent of like my divine masculine finally taking time to check my channel out. And being on my channel so much to where he knows how to navigate through my channel. It's to where he's searching for old videos, looking at old dates where shit happened between us, and then looking at the video for those dates that happened between us and whatever dates these are, and trying to make sense of what the fuck was going on during that time type shit. Catching on. It's like the rhyme master need to catch on first before he can fuck with you. It's like... You play chess all the time. You try to get your masculine to play chess, but your masculine don't want to play chess with you because they know you're going to slaughter them. So what they've been doing is playing other people in chess, trying to get good enough to play you. They want to at least know how to play the game before they play the game with you. Told you, you was a fool in this situation because of a lack of awareness. Ace of Wands is out here. He's going to get the awareness that he or she needs to finally come in your direction. Feminine, what do you want to tell the masculine in the fourth and fifth dimension? Ten of Pentacles. You're telling him it's all good. It's all good, boo boo. <laughs> Take your time. Do whatever the fuck you need to do. Just make sure when you when you when you ready to when you ready to play this game. When you ready to come on home. When you ready to do this. Make sure motherfucking Agent Smith is ten feet the fuck away from us. All right. Don't bring your best friend with us, okay? When you come see me, leave motherfucking Agent Smith for the cop. Leave this nigga at the crib. Do not bring this nigga, do not bring this energy near us. This is past behavior. It's like it's all good. Ten of Pentacles, two people coming together like butt cheeks. You finally get with your twin and you want to bring up some old shit. Or your ass want to get on some King of Cups energy or some tough love shit. Or you want to start pussyfooting around or go backwards. We off that. Whatever your vice is. 
Maybe you like to get good off that booger sugar. Or you, you, you doing some type of drugs behind the scenes or some shit masculine. Or you into some new shit. Some worldly shit. Nothing like whatever this devil shit is, it ain't divine. It's a bad look. It's like me bringing, I don't know, the most ignorantest thug, nasty, nasty thug nigga with me while I conduct personal business with white people and shit. <laughs> it's like I don't know where to go meet with, I don't know, Revolt TV and shit, which is kind of ran by Diddy and shit, but companies like Revolt, you know what I'm saying, like podcasts and shit like that, or YouTube, I'm going to motherfucking, you know what I'm saying, to meet motherfuckers from YouTube and shit, and it's like I bring the squad with me. That's how Bump J felt. Like, that's how Bump J fucked himself. I don't know if you know who Bump J is. He's a Chicago rapper. Um, he was popping until he did that 10 years and shit. For, uh, I ain't gonna tell him business and shit, but... Um, Bump J was the gangsta's nigga out. And Atlantic Records came all the way to Chicago to sign this nigga. Then he signed, get a whole meal ticket. And they was saying that this nigga was walking up in the Atlantic office with the goon squad. Like, goon squad, nigga. Like, the body snatches, nigga. Them foes, nigga. I'm folks, nigga. Them foes, nigga. Like, them goon, the <laughs> goon squad at one point was deep. That was like the first EBK motherfuckers. Like, any rate, you can leave your hood niggas at home. You can leave a riffraff at the crib. You know what I'm saying? It's like one of the situations to where... You go into a family function, how I used to be, and choosing not to get high before I go up in that bitch. Usually, I smoke a fat-ass blunt before I go to the restaurant or go to this church or go wherever my family is having a function at. Usually, it's at church and shit. It's a bad look, me coming to church, eyes red as the devil dick and shit. Smelling like herb, <laughs> smelling like the Chronicles of Riddick and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's a bad look. I could do that shit at another time. I don't have to do that right now. When you form with your fucking twin, make sure you leave the devil. Agent Smith, yo homie, yo bestie, leave that nigga at the crib. Final word. Seven of Pentacles. You're going to have to move the fuck around from that devil. Why is the devil always in your fucking energy? It's energy. What is the devil card? It's addictions. Boy, you addicted to something. Shorty, you addicted to something. You doing something. You ain't got no business doing. Okay? Or you bound to somebody. By contract. By agreement. Legal agreement. Disperse. Eject yourself from this trap you in. Because that's what this devil do. The devil's out here to steal, kill, and destroy you and your blessings. Quit fucking with the devil. Instead of making Agent Smith your bestie, why don't you go fuck with Trinity? That's my message. Got this divine feminist karmic situation coming up right now. <laughs> Deuces.